want to uh, display the glory of God's grace in Jesus Christ by proclaiming him to all peoples for their everlasting joy. So we do that by treasuring Jesus, cultivating his community, and embracing his commission. That's our mission, our, our, our purpose of being here this morning. And so hopefully you'll experience that. Um, we have several uh, announcements, things going on this month, this week, today even. So tonight is our sing thing. So tonight at 6 o'clock we'll gather right here and we'll sing uh, songs of worship. And we'll continue worshiping through uh, Zach Connolly leading us through, this, uh, I think it's Psalm 9. Psalm 9. Um, and then we'll sing some more. It's very low key. My kids will be here, probably distracting everyone. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. So that's tonight at 6. And then immediately following that is the ladies' uh, fall Bible study. And so they're meeting every other week. So tonight at 7. So sing things at 6, ladies at 7. Um, and then some other things I look forward to in October. We're going apple picking. October 22nd, uh, we're meeting here at the church, 9.30, and then we're going to Chattooga Bell Farms um, at 10.30ish. So, um, yeah, come with us, hang out, and pick some apples. Um, I, if Jan was here, I would ask her to come and make us some apple butter. Maybe my wife will do that. Yeah. All right. And then uh, the next week after that, October 29th, we're having a pumpkin carving, and football time at the man's house. Um, so that's uh, BYOP, bring your own pumpkin, and carving gear. Um, and so that's, um, doesn't, I don't think the, a time is announced for that. You know what time that'll be? It probably depends on what time the game is, right? Yeah. Okay. And so a few other things. Um, if you're visiting with us this morning, there's a little card in the seat back in front of you. If you would um, take a look at that, that basically is an opportunity for you to tell us a little bit about yourself. But also, if you're not visiting, if you just need prayer, you can put that on there as well. Um, and then that will be collected in our offering boxes in the back and in the front right here, also where we're taking up our offerings. Um, restrooms are located in the very back building, so you can walk out either one of these doors out of the building and into the next building. And from there, there are signs, and it's a lot easier. So, a lot going on, but I hope you'll join us for all of them. Um, and with that, I'm going to bring up Jonathan Rollins, and he's going to do our call to worship from Zechariah. This is Zechariah 9, beginning verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall speak peace to the nations. His rule shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double, for I have bent Judah as my bow, I have made Ephraim its arrow. I will stir up your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and wield you like a warrior's sword. The Lord will appear over them, and his arrow will go forth like lightning. The Lord God will sound the trumpet and will march forth in the whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts will protect them, and they shall devour and tread down the sling stones. And they shall drink and roar as if drunk with wine and be fu full like a bowl, drenched like the corners of the altar. On that day, the Lord their God will save them as the flock of his people, for like the jewels of a crown, they shall shine on his land. For how great is his goodness and how great his beauty. Grain shall make the young men flourish and new wine the young women. Let's pray. Father, this morning we gather to worship the one true God, the God who speaks, the God who listens and desires to commune with his family, with his body. So, Father, this morning we praise you for your goodness. We praise you for the resurrection. We long for that day when we can enjoy this feast with you in a new kingdom. 
In Jesus' name, amen.